Okay, so um, I was asked uh, a quick, you know, a great, a, I think a brilliant question, like uh, with someone who suffers with an eating disorder, why do I overeat? I think that's such a brilliant question. What's the reason uh, why I overeat? Uh, and, you know, why do I binge? Why do I overeat? And also, um, potentially, why would someone who join a spiritual program like Overeaters Anonymous, why, why would the symptoms get worse on just attending those meetings? And that is such a, that's such a, a great question. So, first of all, um, I'm a, a uh, I, I have a, I, I have a eating disorder, uh, overeating, which, uh, which has been gone now for over 10 years. Um, and in the last eight years, absolutely no body obsession. I only had one day of mild food obsession in eight years. But uh, yeah, 10 years of not having that problem. And, uh, and I have worked a 12-step program uh, in regards to that. Um, and... The reason one over, now to be an addict, which is different from being a normal person, you've um, you've crossed the threshold where you can no longer use willpower. Like a norm, we'd say like a normal person. Um, if you tell a normal person like, um, oh, you know, uh, I've got a plate of donuts, and uh, just have one donut, and make sure you leave the rest for the family coming around tomorrow. Uh, if they have the first donut, they won't be able to stop themselves from finishing the lot of donuts, usually. Or eventually they won't, you see, they can't. Or you just tell them to have one bar of chocolate, you know, they, 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 they won't be able to. Just, you know, like, here's a bar of chocolate, you can have three bars, leave the rest for everyone else. So that means if they can't use their willpower, and they always keep doing that, they can't stop with one, that for me would be a test. That would mean they'd be eligible to join a 12-step fellowship for uh, a food disorder. There's many of them available. There's Overeaters Anonymous, Food Addicts Anonymous, Grey Sheeters Anonymous. Um, so there's many different ones uh, that you can try. So then you're an addict. When, once you become a food addict, like an overeater or a binge eater or even an anorexic or a bulimic, uh, and that becomes a regular pattern which you can't stop with willpower, then um, the 12 step programs have found that you actually need uh, to get um, a connection to God. You know, that's the only, that's the only power source. No psychiatrist, um, uh, no psychiatrist, no doctor can stop you. In fact, the, um, there's, here's a great story, the origination of the 12 steps. There was, you know, there was an alcoholic, uh, which was the first 12 step uh, meetings, Alcoholics Anonymous. And he was a famous in, uh, industrialist. His name was Roland Hazard. And he, um, he had all the money to stop his addiction. He thought, well, I have all the money. Uh, I'll get the best people on the planet to stop me from uh, my alcoholism. So he thought, well, there was two people he thought of immediately. One was uh, Sigmund Freud, and the other one was Carl Jung. He thought, well, I'll get one of these guys, you know. If anyone, I'll get the best, money's no object. Um, and um, anyway, he went to see Carl Jung, I believe in Switzerland, went to see Carl Jung, and, uh, and Carl Jung gave him his therapy, and he stopped for a little while, but then he relapsed, and he went back to Carl Jung. And I think this is great, you know, this is real, uh, Carl Jung had real integrity, because he told the guy the truth. He said, look, someone with your severity of addiction, I've never seen get well <coughs> through therapy. No, you know, and this was Carl Jung, you know, one of the best therapists on the planet, you know, so if he, Carl Jung, but he had the humility to say, but he said, I've heard of people who join spiritual groups and have a spiritual awakening and that they stop the alcoholism. And he, he sent um, Roland off to the, uh, what was called the Oxford groups. And, you know, from that, I won't go into it, but from that was the genesis of the 12 step groups mm -hmm. that, uh, there is no therapist or doctor that can stop an addict, but if they get a connection to God, you know, they, these people are just uncurable through normal means. 
uh, you know, and hence the, you know, the birth of AA, uh, OA, drug fellowships, gambling fellowships, and millions and millions of people have been saved from death, you know, where no therapist or doctor can stop them. So, um, okay, so, okay, why? When you cross a certain threshold of um, um, spiritual non-integrity with your, with your source, there's a threshold, when you cross it, you can no longer use your willpower to stop. You know, it's like you've become so selfish, the ego has become so inflated that it, it loses the spiritual privilege to use willpower. You know, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like God removes your license to use your willpower. You can't stop eating the donuts. You can try with all your willpower, you can go to as many therapists and doctors, you can't do it. Uh, I often share stories in these rooms, you know, I had kidney failure and, uh, you know, the doctor said, you've got kidney failure, your kidneys can't regulate potassium in your blood, so you've got to avoid high potassium foods. And they gave me a list and bananas was near the top. You know, as soon as they released me from the hospital, uh, can you guess what I did? Ate some bananas. I went out and bought a bag of bananas. That's, that's the correct answer. I went out and bought a bag of bananas, big bag of bananas, and I just ate them all. You know, this was a guy with kidney failure saying you'll get a heart attack if you eat high potassium foods, especially bananas. I went out, ate them. I had a blood test done, and they said, come immediately to A&E. You're about to have a heart attack, and I had to go in and have emergency treatment. So I was bananas. <laughs> I didn't think of that. must be bananas. Anyway, anyway that's a good... Bananas. I had to. So, you know, no, no therapist would have been able to stop me. I was totally like nuts. So, but you know, I had a spiritual experience. I went to a twelve-step program. I'm ten years abstinent. And it's easy and effortless for years and years and years. And so, the reason why why did I overeat? Why was I literally trying to kill myself? And I couldn't use my willpower. It's, it's what I said. There is um, once you cross a threshold. Of not um, of of selfishness essentially, of ego inflation, not you know one is so self-absorbed with oneself that one has no ability to um, to be um, to, you know I would say not to have empathy for others. If one becomes extremely self-centered and thinks of self to such an extreme level that the, it's like a a, uh, an energetic attractor field, vibrational field, you become in sync with a very, very low vibratory field. It's a field of self-destruction. And um, so very briefly, that, that's the reason. So when you join a 12-step group, uh, then, um, then um, you're basically releasing all the fear, all the anger, and all the trauma that has created this selfishness. And uh, when you remove it through going through the 12 step process, then you can start to, uh, you, it's through grace, um, the, uh, the need to overeat just disappears. Essentially for years and years, I've not had the, the desire to binge on food. And it's because I've cleared out all my anger, fear, trauma, and I've got a good, strong spiritual connection to God on a daily basis. I help other people. I try and think of others and not just think about myself. And, um, and that releasing of the negativity and this focusing on trying to be helpful to others in the program means I get, uh, you know, I can have years and years of freedom from this. So very simple, simply, the reason why I overeat is because you know, I, you know, I have so much fear, shame, guilt, resentment, trauma in myself. I think of myself so much with all of these wounds. And now it's like, I, I, it's like I'm in a vibration where I just want to destroy myself and self-destruct. So once I start to clear that out, you know, in a 12-step in a, in a program, you go through all the things that made you angry, fearful, shameful. Uh, you go through your spiritual conduct and you release all of that and you participate in the program and then it's, you, get, you get a reprieve from that. So it's a very, very, very effective program.